Hello coaches, this is Royce Clayton, 17 year Major League vet, uh, now the head coach over at Oaks Christian High School. Uh, and today's topic is one of my favorites, which is the mental game of baseball. And I say that because uh, I've came across a quote some time ago, which really inspired me and made me understand how important the mental was, mental side was, that is, is nothing is done physically without first being done mentally. So if you say how important uh, is the mental side of the game, the mental side of the game is everything because it, it translates into the physical acts that we're trying to uh, perform on the baseball field. Uh, not to take anything away from some of the things that are going on to, in today's game as far as the numbers and how important some people think the numbers are, but uh, more importantly to me is the understanding of the mental side of the game, uh, the mental side of the preparation that has everything to do with your player's development and how we translate that into trying to have success on the field. So uh, with that being said, one of the biggest things I do talk to my team about is the fact that each one of them are going to have some type of struggle. And with that struggle, it could be family issues, uh, all the things we're dealing with with COVID. There's a plethora of things that are thrown at us in this world. And we use that as fuel to become stronger we get, we get over that opposition, we get over that adversity, we become stronger for from it, and we persevere. Uh, the reason I stress this so much is get, baseball is such a game of failure. Uh, we deal with it so much. Uh, it's a big part of what we do. And uh, for these young players, it's very hard for them to digest uh, or even imagine that they're going to have um, long sustained uh, droughts where they're not having success. So we teach them to uh, embrace the failure that's coming for sure. Um, don't soak, don't feel sorry for yourself. Understand it as a learning lesson and become stronger from it. And uh, that's been something that we always look back at to our success during the season. And um, it's always been a formula for me to help teach uh, my young boys how to become men. Again, with the understanding of accepting accountability, integrity, and not making excuses. So I'll share with you a, a short story we had uh, two years ago, very good team. That would start off, uh, we came out great out of the gates. Um, I think we're 12 and 0, had a great season going. And things just started to slip away as things do. And uh, before we knew it, we we're really trying to struggle to get into the playoffs. Uh, we managed to do that, but uh, we had a steep uh, road ahead of us. And uh, we just weren't playing very good baseball. So with all these things in mind, I decided to talk to first my pitchers and just get a sense of what they felt uh, were some of the reasons uh, we weren't having the success we had early in the season and what we could do to uh, change it around going into the playoffs. So uh, not unbeknownst to me, but um, they made it very clear that they felt that uh, their supporting group, meaning, meaning the position players as always when these things happen, were hitting the ball, weren't scoring enough runs, weren't playing solid enough defense, and therefore it was affecting them as a pitching staff as to how uh, their success was coming along, not only personally, but as a team. So I took that and I said, here's the deal. I said, when everything was going great, we were a team. Uh, you you had some mistakes, as I'm speaking about pitchers, that, that gave up runs, we scored runs, but at no point in time did you lose faith in the other side, which is your, your players, your defense, uh, and you just kept going forward and things were going hunky-dory. But as soon as things go bad, where your teammates need you more than ever, it seems like you're turning your back. That's what you're telling me. So once we bought out all this negativity uh, on both sides, because I talked to the position players as well, because they knew some of these things that were going on, uh, we were able to um, you know, air out the dirty laundry understand that we can't point fingers, we don't point fingers, and we will become mentally stronger from this adversity that I basically brought out to the forefront. And um, we'll go out there and come together as a team and see how far we can go. And we went to the semifinals that year. So just the mental things that uh, you can do with your team to test their integrity, um, to understand that it's, it's not so much the physical and the numbers and switching players in and out I just don't believe in that. I think there's, you know, decisions that you make or have to be much, much deeper rooted. 
you have to understand some of the problems and things that come, come around during the season. Uh, embrace them and teach your kids that this is just a, a learning lesson so that they become mentally stronger from it. Um, from a personal level, uh, like I said, dealing with failure is something that uh, I know is always present, not just in life, obviously, but definitely translate in my baseball world. So what I would do during tough, tough patches, because I know the media would stick their head out and want to talk to me about some of the struggles I was having personally on the field, I would use this as methods to help, you know, talk myself into a better situation, a positive outlook. I would say, hey, I'm just real close. I'm right there. Things are going to turn around soon. I'm feeling real good at the plate. It's just a matter of time before things turn around for me. Um, you know, I've just been having some tough luck, hitting some tough luck, but it's never going to be a point where I hang my head and feel sorry for myself and start, start to basically make excuses. So as soon as we understand that, as soon as we're accountable for our actions, accountable for everything that goes on, um, you know, we can better, better situation, situate ourselves to have the success that we want to have. And most importantly, we're learning uh, tremendous life lessons. Uh, like I said, because life is very tough. We're going through some very hard times, uh, but we can use some of these hard times to help uh, mentor these young people, uh, put them in a situation where they can become leaders in their family and their communities, uh, show them some accountability, and to use this time as a time to become mentally stronger and persevere uh, to achieve the goals that they want to achieve in life. So with that being said, I, I, I stick to the point that uh, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to this game. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm saddened by a lot of the things that we're seeing as far as statistics and physical attributes and all the different things, measurables that are taking over uh, the evaluations of, of these young people. Because I think we're much greater than that. I think there's much more capacity into what these young men can bring to a ball club, not just their physical attributes. So hopefully at some point in time, uh, we'll get back to the mental part, which uh, is that mental makeup, that character, that integrity, uh, the leadership, all the different things that uh, really produce championship teams. And uh, like I said, we'll use some of these tough times to uh, say that that was a, a, a breaking point or something that helped these young men persevere and become stronger and become our future leaders. So thanks for my time. I appreciate it. And uh, just like I said, just uh, keep staying strong, staying positive, and uh, I'm sure these things will start to turn around for us. Thanks again.